Yeah, it's got to be you. On the bright side, with the efficiencies and things like that, research should be going pretty quickly. 2.2 million. What was I spending all that money on then? There must have been a research in there that was ridiculously expensive. Yeah, inflation's down to 6.7. That's good. Once it gets down to about 3, I'm going to reduce taxes down to probably 45, maybe? What am I sitting at right now? 56. I might just lower it to 50. Um, I am tempted to build two more research facilities, but I think six is more than enough because financially it's going to be hard to deal with things. Um, the U.S. likes me, but not so much. So I went to you and said I want early combat aircraft and weapons manufacturing. It's 58 million bucks. I came to you and said I want pretty much everything else. It's 300 million. You know what? Let's do it. And then I'll buy the rest from the English. Um, but, um, let's also support your government so you start liking me there, Woodrow Wilson. Yeah, it is Woodrow Wilson. Okay. Okay, I'm not spending over a billion dollars with uh, with you guys tech wise. So, research is now less than a million dollars. Okay, doing a lot of unit research though too. Uh, tank tech twenty five. That's military efficiency up. Military efficiency. Military efficiency, ballistic range. Okay, is the only thing I have here is military tech at this point? The only thing I can research is military tech. Because everything's stuck behind improved plastics. Hmm... More unit designs, chemical, howitzer, and the amphibious barge transport. I mean, if I want to keep going with the cheap research, I can go with the unit research, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go with... Let's go with tank tech. And 1920s era naval. So we have 20s naval, so we'll be on par with navy um, as of the date. And we'll be a little bit more advanced when it comes to aircraft. Uh, oh yeah, cool. We're not... Um, no, we'll be, sorry, we'll be a little bit ahead when it comes to tank tech. Which, I mean, is not the greatest, right? Because, I mean, Canada doesn't have the greatest tank tech. But it will get us into some more stuff here. So, I mean, we'll be, have the most advanced country and military than anybody... But we're also going to be like this peaceful country that like won't do anything unless provoked. Theoretically. Okay. Still have six days. So aircraft carrier designs. I don't have any... I would have the sea catcher. Interesting. Catapults, improved construction, steam catapults. Yeah. This one looks gun emplacements. Improved 
Gun turrets. That's our production. What I need to find is where in the game the um, the fortresses are. Military production 80. Keep getting into like 36, there we go. I keep looking for military production to pop down here, but it's not, oh wait, am I researching military production right now? Let's see military vessels, improved marine propulsion. Uh, let's do military vessels, 33. Military vessels. Automated assembly lines is 48. I'm assuming you mean, there we go. Line infantry branch, military productions, three. Yeah, that's already the hard part. <laughs> Unless. Um, there we go. <clears throat> Production one. Armor level. Tank tech. So it's 41 here. 43. It's 44. 46. It's 54. production three. That's 52. The problem is that it doesn't show in which direction it is. Probably 54 tanks. 64 tanks. Uh, 66. Uh, armor design. So the base of the line is to go down the armor design line. 81. Armor design, seven. Oh. Six. No, and then where's five? Well, it's armor design five, whoops. Um, Come on. 
And this is 66. Military production 4. Military production 5. Ah, there it is. Okay. Boom. Research everything to this. Cool. So now the AI will at least start... It's already set everything up. So now... It'll go down that line for me. It also stops supporting the American government. Oh, I forgot about elections. I'm going to lose the election. Crap. Well, let's cut taxes. I wanted to cut taxes anyways. I'm going to cut taxes down to 50%. Might as well do it during a uh, an election time. Inflation down to three, so I did a little sooner than I wanted to. That's not a big deal. Do not take out bonds. Earlier, I can't remember if it was when I got rid of everything. Give free wood. Listen, I'm not Bill Clinton, okay? Yeah, it is pretty cheap, though. Ooh, point one a day. Ooh, point two a day. Ooh. Well, I'm not controlling the uh, power, the AIs, but I'm probably gonna give cheaper food though. I'm gonna like, manipulate this like crazy here. Let's drop food prices down to, I don't know, forty percent. Biggest issue is I start dropping prices, inflation might start going up. Like, I just jump, jumped to 3.8 from 3.6. Unemployment's up, which is a good thing. 27 on the nose versus 30, 30. Yeah, we'll win. You know what? Honestly, even if I don't win, I'm still taking the country. Don't use the chart. To, I always use the chart for inflation. Speaking of, so you have no technologies that I don't have, or at least are stuck behind. You, Germany hates me with a passion, so obviously I'm not going to deal with them. And England, interesting. Six of six. Well, the only thing, the only tech I don't have is that, so I might as well research it anyways. 28.1. Ah, no one. Of a large industrial factory? So you mean the industrial, oh, like the actual goods or the complex? Because 163 million.
Ah, uh -huh. never even noticed. Uh, kicked on to election, 14 days, yada, yada, yada. Research breakthrough, take 25, perfect. Even if I don't win the election, I'm probably just going to take over the country anyways. Interesting. Well, now it's 165. <laughs> so it's gone up 2 million in 4 days. And inflation's gone up. Uh, it was 3.8 before. So it's gone up 0.6 since then. Nope. I am playing, as I said earlier, I am playing peacefully. Mm -hmm. AI is controlling that. I mean, theoretically, I could go to war with them and then just bust them up. But I also don't have an army to even do that if I wanted to, so. I told you to get more troops out of my reserve, right? Yep, okay. I mean, I could create Poland. The Czech Republic, the Slovak Republic, and then just bust up Austria. But other than that, couldn't really do much. Eh, go away. And even then, as I said, playing peaceful until they declare war on somebody. Which, I mean, should happen. I mean, I haven't gone this long in a game with no wars happening. So someone's going to declare war on someone soon. Well, maybe. One thing I've realized in the brinkmanship is sometimes... It can go, like, multiple times I've played, Russia has gone south into the Middle East a bunch of times. And Germany has gone after, like, China or Russia on its own. But, yeah, nothing's happened. <laughs> like, I even had a couple ones where Belgium uh, tried to kind of get a little feisty and stuff. Um, I've had, like, South Africa, sorry, South America be the prime World War One zone, where, like, Brazil and Argentina went to war, but Colombia and, uh, Ven uh Colombia, uh, Venezuela, and Ecuador and Peru got involved, so there was, like, massive fighting over here, massive fighting down here, and that was World War One, because... England got involved, the US then got involved, the Germans, the Russians, everyone just piled into South America instead. And this is where the big war happened. But in this one, that's not even happening. Um, perfect. Premier propulsion. One thing I've learned is with the research mod as well, um, 
Hey, <laughs> that's pretty boring. What the research mod I've noticed is it drains a lot more money a lot faster from everyone's coffers. Because as you're researching bonuses, um, like research efficiencies and stuff like that, it's actually increasing the amount of money you have to put into your development and your efficiency. So in the end, it ends up basically um, almost kneecapping a lot of countries where the more advanced research-wise they are, the more money they're spending earlier on. And it actually ends up slowing the game down a little bit. So it's like, if you want to research, you can research, but then you can't really be fighting wars and all that stuff because you can't afford to be doing both. <laughs> I was hoping for a way, I gotta figure it out, if there's a thing where if you're at war, you get a bonus specifically to warfare tech. And if you're at peace, you get a specific bonus to uh, transport, science, technology, medical, and science. So it's an offset. If you want to fight wars, you beef up your war tech a lot easier. If you're sitting there playing peacefully, you get a bonus to, you know, technology, science, transportation, medical, and society stuff. It's an idea. I don't know how I would even try to attempt to implement something like that. It would have to be some sort of, like, trigger or... No, no, triggers are a completely different game. That's uh, Operation Flashpoint. Um, I don't know, like a script or something that runs in the background where it's like, if you're at war, boom. You know, a 5% bonus to your researching of, of military stuff. Yeah. If uh, different political parties and stuff had bonuses to like what they do, like, um, like, like capitalism has a boost to their economy where communisms and dictatorships have a boost to their military and their production output because that's what it's supposed to be right so play it more as the this is what the political party or the political leading is supposed to be and kind of do that but uh it's one of those things that it's like kind of wish there was little things you can tweak here and there like that No, no, but I mean, like, more specific actual things. Like, even have it, like, show and have, like, an actual... That's hard to explain. It makes sense in my brain. Militia infantry, good for me. So can I not try... Do you... None of you have the tech I need? Like, any tech now? There we go. Marine propulsion. 176. I'll do that. I'm also going to start kissing your butt. Improve sub production, military efficiency up half a percent, and military efficiency up 2% there. Theoretically, I can build a massive navy. The British Navy is just sitting there not doing anything. That's weird. British Navy is only sitting in the Mediterranean, and that's it. Like, even they're not spreaded around the world. 